The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 12. You get the NASDAQ up 2. S&Ps are down uh, 350. Gold contracts up uh, $3.10 uh, after uh, being down uh, almost uh, $8. Uh, you get silver up $0.05, cents, uh, trading out at $17.94. You get platinum at 1000 uh, Light sweet crude. Uh, flat 53.16. Uh, we get light sweet crude numbers coming out at 10.30. Wednesday, you got it. Yeah, Wednesday, light sweet crude. Thursday, gas. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, notes. The 10 year note down six ticks, 124.01. 30 a bond off 17 ticks, 150.03. Uh, you know, the volatility's out here today, folks, uh, inside the metals, the bonds, and the dollar. It's pretty amazing what's going on. So you had the uh, CPI come out. It was a little hot. That crushed metals. They came all the way back. It crushed bonds. Bonds are coming all the way back. And it sent the dollar to the moon, and guess what? The dollar has just come down 600 ticks from its high. So it's, the dollar right now is up, only up 42 ticks. It was up 500. Uh, we're at 101,280. The euro is at 105, and the yen is at 114. So evidently the market is not it's quite a spike off that CPI. And then Huge, yeah. huge. And um, you know, the bottom line is that the, the market continues to me, the, the bond market continues to say, no matter what Yellen and the crowd is saying, meaning they want to go up three times, the bond market saying, well, you're not going to go up to June, <laughs> you know, and, and we'll see then. Yeah. The, the dollar, for how strong it's supposed to be, bottom line, someone keeps selling it off, and it's not you and me, <laughs> meaning that that's a monster to bring the dollar down 500 ticks uh, that quick, and of course, uh, gold just went from uh, 1217, now we're yeah. 1228. Yeah. Pretty wild. Now, let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim. And, folks, if you want to know the market's upside down, you want to know options upside down, Kevin and Scott, they got an amazing show, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time, every day right here at TFNN. You get it right on your cell phone. You go to TFNN.com, you hit Tiger TV. You're going to get some great HD quality video as well as audio. Uh, today, of course, we're going to be talking options. Tomorrow, you're talking futures. So they, they go right through the whole ball of wax. Kevin Hinks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. How you doing, How's man? Going? Good morning, Kevin. I, you know, the, the volatility inside the bonds, even as we're talking. So when, when, when we started the program, when I did the first update, Kevin, the 10-year was down 10 ticks. Before that, it was down 14. And now it's only down 6. It's like, man, it's, it's you know, the, the currency moves are pretty intense out here right now. No doubt. Well, I'll tell you what, Tom. And, it, and didn't you and I speak about this yesterday? In the in the the, the ten o'clock hour, which is this, what could throw a wrench into this runaway market? Yes, and that is higher interest rates. Yep. Right. Right. And you've got now two numbers in a row, and three if you count retail sales, that have all been a little hotter than expected. Right. Right. And I think yet yesterday the chance of a March Fed hike thirteen percent. It's all it's gone all the way up to eighteen percent now. But guess what? Eighteen percent is nothing. Right. Yeah. That, that, that's not realistic. And what what is it that the market isn't seeing? Because Janet Yellen's certainly starting to mention it. I think it has something to do, and believe me, I went off on a little five-minute manifesto yesterday at the start of swim lessons about, I, you know, March, if, if these numbers keep coming out like this, you've got to think about March, and March is going to start creeping, and I said that's what traders should be having one eye on, is that 10-year yield and the chances of a March rate hike, right? And, but I think it, what you just mentioned before I came on the air, Tom, why, why, Aren't these bonds moving? Why aren't the I chances know. of a rate hike going up? And it's is it they don't trust her to do it? I don't know what it is. You know the the thing that is wild. I I trust more that the bonds keep rejecting, saying no. 
<laughs> Be, right. because, because of the history of the you know past eight years. That's so, more than right. anything. And, Do you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's, uh, it's and you know how big the bond traders are. They're huge. Right, man. and that's you what know? we say on swim lessons all the time: is follow the money. Yeah. Don't listen to the rhetoric. Listen yeah. to the, where the money's bet. And the money's betting that March is not on the table. Right. No, I know. It's pretty wild. Right. Man. No, no doubt. But that's if I'm a trader, and I am. That's what I'm keeping one eye on. Right. Right. Is how that ten-year yield and the probabilities for March. What happens there? Because I think that could throw a little wrench into what so far has been a pretty strong rally that doesn't look like it wants to turn around. I there's no doubt, man. Hey, yeah. how about? So it's, how, it's fascinating. It is, man. And you know, Apple. You know, we were talking about Apple yesterday. So Apple's got a seven hundred and. Eleven billion dollar market cap now, <laughs> and now Warren's in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Right, and now Warren's. Gee, I wonder how it got. It, it made this last run. Well, that, now we know. Now Warren we know. Was buying it. Yeah, all the thirteen F filings come out last night, folks, and he's in. He's a little over one percent, I think he has. Okay. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, I mean, and we know that's a lot. It's. A, so, oh my God. Yeah. Very sir, interesting. Seriously. Very interesting. So, what are we going to talk about today? You know, something that we really only talk about in synthetics, but we're going to talk about it pure and outright today, which is strangles and straddles. Okay. Okay, yeah. great. So uh, it's, it's just a great conversation, and it's a conversation that's starting to fit where we are in this market right now. Strangles and straddles today. Got to love it, man. Yeah. Folks, right here, every trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Great program. You want to understand options upside down. You want to understand the market. I mean, the bottom line is that, you know, if you're trading the market, you should understand risk. And that's what options are all about, defined risk. Kevin, you have a great one, a safe one. We look forward to the program at noon. Thanks for having me, guys. Have Absolutely, a great day. man. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. So we have the uh, Dow Industrial's up 25 right now, NASDAQ's up 3. Uh, S&P's are off 2.5. And, and, of course, uh, uh, it is Wednesday, and uh, what, uh, we have oil numbers coming out at 1030. If you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, folks, great time to do it. Come over to our website, at TFNN. Uh, you can pull up the, uh, hit the banner. They'll put uh, $25,000 of paper money into your account, and you can see how these defined option contracts trade. So we'll jump now, back Now, is that this bit. morning? That is right now. That is from... 5290 to... 930. So I, okay. I guess this is going to be 830. Yeah, I mean, you know... And so this is the March contract the we're trading. Okay. Yes. So right now we're at 5316. We took a look at it. We have 5325 can be maybe our pivot point if we want to trade both of them. Yeah. But I know you wanted to take a look at it on Bloomberg. To see yeah, so... Yeah, we're going to go into March, right? There you go. Okay, so, oh, interesting. So, that's quite a move. That, it, it, that's, that, oh, man, what a killer. So, wh when I say what a killer, what I mean, folks, is this, is that because you came all the way down to this lower swing point, uh, meaning at the 52.77, it's like, okay, you got a little volume there. Okay, so we got a spike to 53.72. So that's, that's 50 cents. Yeah, if we're going from the 53.25. That's on the upside. Now, let me just see that Go one ahead. more time. Go Sorry, ahead. man. Yep. Okay, so. And this contract here, 52.66. See, it's above it. Okay. So this, you know, what, what you have here, folks, is that this is really a, a toss-up. And this is, on a toss-up like this, um, I really like the idea that uh, we're doing a volatility trade. You're playing both sides? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. Uh, what the, the one I'd like to take a look at is the one that is the 12 o'clock one. The unfortunate part about it is that... Uh, if it hadn't gone all the way down there, oh, look at it, it's moving anyway. I guess we got to... It is. That's pretty wild, isn't it? It is. So, you know, we were looking, and just to, during the break, right, we had yeah. the, the, let's just jump back, we had the 11 a.m.s where 53 could be the point, and then we'd be above it a, right. a little bit. And then you have the nudes where you're going to be a little bit below it. So 53.25 is going to be your ceiling. Yeah. 53.25 is going to be your floor. You'd be buying the positive one. Selling the negative one, so about forty-five dollars. So I need forty-five cents. You need forty-five cents away from fifty-three twenty-five, right? But I, you already have fifteen cents of it to the downside in one of them. Right. So to make your money back to the downside, you only need thirty cents of movement. Okay. To yeah. put things in. Right. Yeah. And then can we pull up the the eleven o'clock one? I don't think I'm going to do it. Um, because this thing's moving around too much. It I mean. is. So 11 a.m., that would be where 53 became the pivot point. Yeah. So we'd be buying the one, 53. That's 35 bucks. That is 35. And the, okay, so the pivot on that is 53. 53. So we're a little bit closer. We're 10 cents away from the pivot on this one versus yeah. being like 15 cents away from the up. Interesting. Yep, I'm going to pass on this. Okay, we'll um, see what happens. Yeah, because the... So we either would have been off of 53 or 53.25. Right. Just, to, you know, and we'll see where that trades out, depending. It would have been... Because what ha just so you understand, if you're following us, folks, what ends up happening is that on the one that I'd actually like to do, which is the 12 o'clock one, that's still too much movement. I think it's too much movement. Sure, yeah, it's almost 50 cents. Right, Yeah. right. And and they have moved around quite a bit. You know, we, we've, we've moved around 40 cents. Well, 
if we take it from eight o'clock in the morning, no, we've moved, uh, we've moved fifty cents. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. So you need more than that. That's what. It, that's 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 the basis of it. Sure. You know what I'm saying? You do, you just need more of it. So, we'll see where that thing shakes out. Um, look at this dollar. This is, you know, I, I mean, I'm bearish the dollar, but it's still blowing my mind that it can get sold off that quick. Yeah. Uh, Quite a reversal. It's it's, it got up into. Did it make the 101.710? It did. Okay, so it was going into the swing point from uh, January 19th as well as the downdraft of uh, January uh, 12th. And it just couldn't handle it. And so you're not only uh, coming down, but you're going to have light volume too. Uh, meaning, you know, it's still only 25,000 contracts. It's going into 61,000 contracts from that higher level. So. You, you're going to end up with a, a major failure. Yeah. And what's neat about it <laughs> is, uh, yeah, there it is right there, 57,000 contracts at that level. You got 61,000 um, at 101.615. Yeah, that's what it was testing. It went to 101.750. So it's 61,000 contracts. The thing that is a mind blower, uh, is the fact that the number came in hot, the CPI. I know. Yeah. And there's, I mean, right. quarter reversal after the initial, yeah, they it, just negated it. Completely. Exactly. So uh, let's go take a look at this. So consumer price increases, uh, the cost of living increased by, in January by the most since J February of 2013, led by higher cost of gasoline and other goods services. Um, you know, it's indicating that uh, inflation is gathering momentum. You know what I want to do later? I, I guess what you, I haven't seen this with a total breakdown. I never looked at a chart like that. Like, what exactly did they put in there? And I heard uh, Bloomberg on the way in. They were explaining every little thing. The components. Of yeah, it. yeah, and it sure. was pretty cool, man. Just uh, just understanding. Do you know what I mean? You always hear the big things, okay? But even hearing the little things was no, pretty cool. No, they break cool. down some. You know, clothing prices jump 1.4%. <laughs> Um, yeah. Men's apparel surged by the most on record. Let's see, new vehicles climbed 0.9 percent. Yeah, the biggest since November 2009. The core CPI measure, which includes, which excludes volatile food and fuel costs. So there you go. At least part of it um, rose 0.3 percent. It's cool looking at the chart as well. Yeah, look at that. So 2011, biggest. Gain since 2012, it's saying. And the Fed shoots for 2%, right? So, I mean, that's what you know, yeah. Kevin was talking about a right. little bit. As we're right. And, and if we do go over to uh, go for it. that uh, the Fed fund futures, this went up quite a bit. Yeah. You know, it's running. It was 30 when we started the show yesterday. It went to 34 yes. in the show. On Yellen speaking. Yeah, it's 42 now. That's on that's, the CPI. That's, that's a big hike. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and May went up to 60. And you can, I mean, look what uh, this just graphically, you know, charts say a lot. Look at that spike up. Wow. Right there going yeah. from, you know, the 30 over here to saying whoop. That should say it all. No doubt, man. 877-927-6648. Uh, we go take a look at, uh, look at that. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the higher volume stocks in this low volume market. Uh, Procter & Gamble, that, uh, that's caught a bit. That's up 270. Uh, hedge fund uh, came in, and this is an activist hedge fund. They came in and bought 500 uh, million okay. uh, my, of Procter & Gamble. So we'll, we'll take a look at some of these 13F filings after we go through the uh, oil numbers at 1030. We're going to be right back, folks. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. 
If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. All right, we got the crude oil inventories. It rose 9.5, so we went over, what was the 7.6 was at least the Bloomberg estimate. Yep. API was right around 9.4. Um, yeah, so crude oil, crude oil inventories rose 9.5 million barrels. Distillate inventories fell 689,000. Gas inventories rose 2.8. And um, let's jump let's back. Let's see what we did, yeah. And let's see where we're moving. We got quite a spike, it looks like, <laughs> all the way up to... 53.28 or something? 53.28. Um, that's mm -hmm. where it pays to have some orders in if, yes. you're, if you're trading for some of those levels. Right. And we'll see where we jump around. Um, but either way, the trades we're looking at with 53 or 53.25 being our max loss break-evens. Right. And not, a, not, a, not a startling number, right, in terms of... Pretty much right on the API and, and only a couple million barrels I know. off of where they probably expect Right. Yeah. So we'll see where that whole thing uh, does shake out. Uh, and that's where, the, the, you know, yeah. Um, and of course, we'll, 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 get, we'll go back to that and see where... Yeah, it uh, takes some time to sort itself out it, usually, it does. right? It does. And, you know, what, what has happened is that, that the ranges, it's had a... Oil's had a tough time, folks, staying in the higher range. Um, you know, but it certainly hasn't got croaked on the way down either. I mean, that, that's, that's the reality out here. Uh, if we go back to the uh, markets for a second, so let, let's go take a look at some of these uh, 13F filings. So I'll bring up Apple first for you because that was, uh, when that came across, it just totally made sense, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, about how Apple had got all the way back up there. Now, when you're taking a look at these filings, I'm just going to do the latest, latest changes, and when you're looking at this, um, what you're going to see... 46 million shares of Apple. Exactly. <laughs> Not bad. And you, you can see, that, so the, when you're reading this, you're going to see that the position uh, is 61 million shares now. 61. The, yeah, yeah, okay. The addition, no, right. no you're right. Right. That's no, right, you're, right, right. The addition is 46 million. Right. So, big numbers. Yeah. Um, and Manual Life, they, they bought 15 million. They sure. added to a position. Yeah, they doubled their position. Yeah, BlackRock, uh, 10 million. Now, that, that there would more than likely be an ETF. 
Oh, okay. Uh, BlackRock owns iShares. Okay, that makes sense. So that yeah, you know, so they own six six point one percent of it. Um, capital uh, Group. Uh, this is Amer American Funds. That's a that's a great mutual fund company out in California. Uh, they bought nine point nine million. So that's probably in portfolios. Um, then we can take a look at uh, the sellers. Sellers is Morgan Stanley, eleven million. Um, you know, there's a few others uh, out there. Yeah. Uh, if we go inside the the uh, GLD, uh, we get a, we get a new uh, buyer inside the GLD. Let the and when I get off the air, I'm going to figure out who this is because it's pretty cool. Um, it was a big buyer too, um, five million shares, and that was a new position. So, uh, one point seven six. They they weren't in this business before. Passport Capital. Um, if I look at so Passport Capital's uh. Out of San Francisco. Let's yeah, see. I mean, that's a $500 million position. Yeah, seriously, man. Holding analysis, portfolio display. Let me just see how big this portfolio is for a second. So, yeah, this is passport capital. I, I you know, I... Yeah, you have to. There's so many. There's so many big animals in this business, but they got, they got, they got a lot of, they got a lot of stock, whoever sure, they are. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's a, it's a monster, no doubt about it. Um, get close that. Okay, so uh, CI Investments they they come in with four point seven million. UBS two point three. Let's see who the sellers were. Um, Morgan Stanley, yeah, three million they sold. Uh, TD Bank sold two point five million. JP Morgan two point two. You know what is, uh, yeah, let me show you something here. Is that the one? Oh, I got to do this. I got to do this again. PHDC, uh, which is, okay, if I bring this down, why don't I see it? Oh, here it is right here. So this is, this is kind of, this is pretty sad, actually, when I look at this. So Paulson, right? Paulson made a fortune, um, on the mortgage-backed securities. That's what sure. he was known for, right? Um, unfortunately, he ended up going into the gold market almost at, at its peak. And at one point, this we're looking, he's on the, the line number eight, folks. And you'll yeah. see he owns 1.54% uh, right now. Yes. He sold an additional 415,000 shares, 4.3 million. He had owned over 20 million shares. Okay. And unfortunately, <coughs> you know, excuse me. Those portfolios, he's had, he's been selling them down. Yeah, it's been quite a ride, right? Yeah, a bad so, ride for him, right? Exactly. Because he did, yeah. he he didn't buy the bottoms. Yep. You know what I mean? Um, and unfortunately, in this case, it was the same deal that. And what I mean by that, folks, is this: is that when you look at the chart, gold excuse didn't me. start moving off the bottom until January. You okay. See, you see, what I'm saying so. Yeah, you, right. You, it's the bottom, right? You, exactly. So unfortunately, uh, he's getting squeezed out of a position. Um, I see. What are you looking at over I, there? We're right? going yeah. to bring the oil chart back over again because look at that thing moving around. And as you do it, even even in that few seconds, it looked like it was about to cascade it down. It did. It did. Um, but yeah, we're below 53. And, you know, these are five minute bars. We're only at 1036. Yeah. So you got about 24 minutes left. And on the 53, and we were looking to the 5325 also. Yeah, right? the, that's yeah. the one you like the most was the 12 noon to get 5325, maybe. Right. Um, still with that, you need 5270, right? 75, yeah. 5280 at least to, to come in the ballpark. Yeah. So bottom line, it's, you know, yeah, you know, it's, sure. it's, there was, there was too much movement that we would have needed there, uh, for the risk versus the reward. Um, and the market's creeping up a little and bit You now. know what? I was just going to say Dow's up 40 S and P is now almost flat after being down like three to start the show. Right. Um, and it's still up a couple of doll couple of dollars. Yeah, and that's exactly what the uh, market did yesterday. The mar the mar well, the market started down yesterday, and then it's like it just never looked back. It's like, <laughs> I, I want higher price, man. I, I don't I don't even know what this down means. I know. I texted you yesterday. Uh, it, when, Is the market ever gonna go when, down when, again? When you text me, I'm, I'm not <laughs> I'm not sure where I was. I just looked at that text and I says, Oh my God, you know, because I was I was out myself taking care of. A couple right. things, and then right. I went back in and was like, "Wait a second, it's just 
been going up the whole time big, the last couple hours. I, yeah. Big time. Yep. Big time. Uh, if we go over, you know, what's intriguing here, if you go over to the small caps, the small caps are still showing, you know, that it's the weakest indice. It's, it's certainly strong. I mean, it's up, up at the highs. Uh, but that's going to challenge the $138.82 uh, once again today. Now, it failed um, when, it, when it went up there on Monday. Okay. Um, you know, so we're over it right now. We're over it right now. Yeah. yeah. And we'll see whether uh, it has any juice uh, left in it. You know, so uh, J.P. Morgan, uh, the banks, I loved what Yellen had to say. I mean, they, they, it took over their highs, took off over their highs. Uh, now we'll see whether it can, they can stay there. I guess if the probability of the Fed funds futures goes up, that J.P. Morgan should be going up. They right? make a fortune. Right, exactly. They make a fortune. Because yeah. what happens, folks, is that the second that it goes up, all that money in the bank, that night the Fed gives them more money. So, sure. Because they pay interest on reserves now, right. which they never did. That was a 2008 deal. You know what I mean? It's like, I, you know, we'll see whether they ever get rid of that. It'll be a bank then. <laughs> Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. NASDAQ's creeping up. That's up 54. It is. NASDAQ's up 9. S&P's are up uh, a quarter point. We're going to be right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The uh, Dow right now is up 45. You get the NASDAQ up 7. S&Ps are flat. Let's go see. Uh, oh, I know. <laughs> Without even looking, actually, it's got to be Procter & Gamble. There she is. Yep. So Procter & Gamble is the leader inside the Dow. That's up 3.3% or uh, 294. You have Merrick Express up uh, 6 tenths. Yeah, see, let's look at all of this and you'll see.
the amount of, uh, look at that. So Procter & Gamble is putting 20 points into the Dow. Uh, Boeing is putting five points, Big Mac five points. Nothing has taken it out uh, dramatically. Yeah. You know, 3M down, th taking three points out. Look at this, three points, two, 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 and then it gets into tenths of a point. Sure. <laughs> pretty amazing, right? Yeah, no, it's a good day. Yeah. It does up like 50, right? Yeah, yeah. pretty, it's pretty 45. wild. Yeah. Uh, we go over to the NDX 100. Look at the strength versus the weakness. Uh, you have, uh, what is that, Sirius Satellite? Yeah, yeah. Sirius Satellite up uh, three. They three, just come out with their earnings or something? Three percent. Yeah. Let's see. So. It's a $5 stock, but up. Yeah, trading 480. Um, Berkshire. Oh, look at this. This is. 13F filing. That's, right? that's up. On yep, Berkshire, Berkshire Hathaway 13F filing. So let's see, PHDC, we'll see what this is saying. Look at that. He, so Berkshire Hathaway, <laughs> folks, came in and bought 166 million shares, 3.5% of the company. Let's look at this. And this is, look at this, got ABC up. So been in the consolidations, taking a B point out today. Let's pull this back. Okay, so if we do three years, it would have been October, November, December. That's September. Yeah, so right there. It's October. They start doing pretty little... No matter where they bought it from, right? They're in the money. <laughs> it's yeah. at, like, highs literally to the tick. Right. Right now. Right. Yeah. You can, you can see what that buying does, though, right? Right. I no, mean, no, that's, you a, know, that's a factor of that. Yeah, you can, you know, as we're looking at this chart, folks, uh, what you have is that the, you, you get the aspect of uh, October, you know, at the beginning of the buy-in, it, it stayed pretty cool, you know, for these are weeklies, okay? So if, if they, well, we don't right, know. Right, we right, only right, know that right. within those 90 days they bought right. it. But you can see the spike, you know, the, the, the spike high has the vol in, in it. Uh, Pretty wild, Lindy. It's a straight ship up. It's it, yeah. it absolutely is. And what does happen is that the the thirteen F filings are great to look at. They still are forty five days behind. Sure. But it does make a difference as to these large funds how they accumulate positions. Because sure. they accumulate them, it takes a long time to accumulate them. It takes a long time to get rid of them, and that's what people are looking for uh, inside of that. Now I'm going to go over to Wrangell Resources because what happens with Wrangell is that uh, Fidelity is either a lover of Rangold or a hater of Rangold, and it just depends where they go. Oh, look at, look at, okay. They sold. They sold. They sold. sold like a third of their position. Yep. So they're left with still three and a half million shares. Three and a half million shares. Now, now watch, I'm gonna show you what happens when this happens too, because it's vicious. Um, and I've, you know, so here's, here's December. So by December 31st, they, that's where they sell it. Look, look at this. This is they you sold talk, at the lows, right? You, yeah, you talk about a downdraft, oh, right? Um, you know, if we started at the beginning of October, it was ninety-seven dollars. Yeah. By December fifteenth, it was sixty-seven. Sure. You know, and yeah. that's pressure. That's heavy pressure, man. And you know, now Wrangell's at yeah. at ninety-one. They had to sell one point seven million shares, and if you look just real quick, I mean, some of these days are point nine. So that's like two point five. You know, that's like three straight days of just their sales going for right. the entire volume. Right. So that's right. Yeah. It's a it's a lot. Right. It's 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 absolutely a lot. Let me go back to this for a second. It's not like that it trades hundred million shares a day. No. No there there's no doubt. So latest changes. Uh we had prudential buy in uh, oh I see I like this one. See the Renaissance Technologies. I wish I could figure this this so Renaissance Technologies folks, this is Jim Simons. And Renaissance Technologies is the most successful hedge fund just in the business, always has been. And it always goes in and out of these gold stocks. And I'd love to know, like... Some volatility, we all know that. Yeah, right? and I'd love, sure. I'd love to know that, okay, so, you know, what is their makeup when they do this? I the, would, yeah, you the, the cool, join, join the list of people that probably want to know. I know, that. I, I know. I would know, love to know, yeah. I know. Uh, but they came in. They came yeah. in good. They came in with 351,000 to 410. Yes. Now watch this. This is where they also, which was blowing my mind, they 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 
they, they're all over the place. They don't, just don't go into big ones either because you're going to see, oh, look at on, on uh, Great Panther, they sold yeah. 38,000. But they have 2.8 million. I that's was a, always, That's almost like a clerical. Yeah. Who knows? No. You know, selling it, 40,000 of a 3 million share it, position. You know, the first time I saw them go into Great Panther, I said, man, what are they doing in Great Panther? Sure. You know, and they, have, they own 1.2% of the whole business, of yeah. the company. I mean, that's a $6 million position. Yeah. And they basically sold $80,000 worth of it. Right. Right. So. right. No, I know, but it, 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 it's the aspect. When you see them in the gold market, I'm saying to myself, I love it when I see them coming in. It's like, what I, because we know that they're the most successful out there. Sure. And, and, and that's just not the gold business. That's all, all the businesses. Sure. You know, they're a bunch yeah. of math whizzes. I'm sure. So Jim Simons was in World War II. Okay. He was a, a, a code guy. I think you sent me an article on him before. I read yeah. something about him yeah. before. Maybe yeah. I Googled just, it, but yeah. I did. Just yeah, a, just yeah a, that's a cool story. Uh, yeah, I know. They, they do it, really well, for sure. Oh that's what God. I read. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Um, let's let's take a look at that oil chart again sure. as the Dow is up 64. Oh, oh, baby. <laughs> there we go. 53, 53.40. Yep. So still, now this is actually the tough part of when you do that, right? You get the spike in one way and then it spikes right. back against you. And, and now you're only, you wanted to do the noon 53.25 and you're actually only at 13 cents of value in that right now. Yeah. But right. you still have 11 minutes, but yeah, that's quite a, quite a run, man. Right. So, here, let's just go over that again, because I think I still wouldn't be in the money here, right? That's the bottom line. Even well, that's though... What, I, what, what, what do you mean? In, meaning yeah, 53 that... 53.25 would have been... So you're only looking at 13 cents of value right now to the upside. Right. And what I mean, we would, one of the trades were going to cost me... They were both around 37.45 to 45. Yeah. I didn't, neither of them would be profitable at this point. That, that's no. what I mean. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm sure. talking about. Right. That's right. I mean, your your pivot point is 53.25 right. on the one you wanted. Right. That's only 13 cents away from here. Yeah, exactly. So that means you're only getting 13 dollars back with that much movement. Yeah. yeah. It was it yeah. was at least you know right. 35 to 45 dollars. Yeah. Um, and even on the one that you, the 11 a.m. would have been 53. Yes. And would be approaching coming into break even right now. Right. Which, yeah, I mean, you can that's, see they, that's they, tough. They have when to be set up right. You'd yeah. be disappointed, right, if you yes. got this kind of move and right. you broke even. Right. So that's what, right. right. And you should be, yeah. Pretty amazing. Now, that uh, evidently that oil move, uh, no doubt, just took uh, these equities up, though. Um, let me go see if the uh, XLE. Another 100 points on the Dow. Why not? <laughs> right. Well, the XLE, it's still in the negative by two pennies. Oh, yeah, but it did pop. So, uh, look at this. It just popped from 73.29 to 73.61. Sure. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now up uh, 66. NASDAQ's up 9. S&P's are up 2. We're going to right back. <laughs> Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. 
the bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour. Following the Tom O'Brien Show, Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with host Tom and Tommy O'Brien, along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Let's go, go take a look at uh, Pan American Silver for a couple of the Tigers out here. So Pan American Silver is down $1.54, uh, trading $19.34. And let's see what they have to say. So first, okay, so reported fourth quarter income, 21.8 million after reporting a loss, same period last year. Yeah, it looks like the average estimate of the three analysts surveyed was 12 cents per share, so they slightly beat there. Okay, so there's nothing in there that's telling us why that down drops out, because it's quite a down drop, yeah. no doubt. Uh, increases... No, you're back in January already. Wait. Okay. Well, let's take a look at it. Someone's selling it. That's the bottom line. Um, yeah, and there's a lot in those reports in terms of the fundamental. Yep. So this thing, uh, put this up here. Well, what you don't want to see, if you own this thing, you don't want to see this thing get under $15 and, uh, I mean, $18 and 56 cents, you know? You can make the case that it just went straight up from $14 uh, to $21.29. Let me see if I got it. can make that case because it did. <laughs> yeah, no, no, exactly. Right. So, yeah, there's, there's really not a lot of, you know, four or 5,000 sales at a time. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. Uh, there's, some, there's something, you know, the, the question is, is, you know, what's wrong with it? I would, I would go through that. That report. Yeah, whether it's just, forecast expectations, yeah, there's, just, just there's to, something there. Right, just to make sure that what you're not looking at is that um, the aspect of... Uh, there's something in those. Are, are there, as, as they're, as they're less or than they've managed in the past. I mean, that's, that's what you're looking at. And by 3 o'clock, I'll, I'll hunt it myself and see what's, see what's out there. Sure. Um, Dollar, dollar still can't handle higher price. We're at 92 ticks right now, so DXH7. What you have here is, so we just went from 101.750 to 101.330. And yeah, this thing, you know, <laughs> even the bounce, the bounce just now is on light volume. Yeah. So, uh, the low of today, 101.145, still is a high volume low. One likes it's going to get tested, and it very well could be uh, an additional uh, intraday ABC structure on the way down. Uh, the 10 year note, let's see where that's at. That's at 123.28. Now, your swing point on this is at 123.18. You know, we've only got to 123.24, so. It doesn't, close, man. Yeah, I know. It is. And if it doesn't break it, though, you know. Yeah, that'll that's be just an area. Cons consolidation, right. yeah. It's, you know, it's just a 
as Bud will also would say, it's a horizontal trading range. That is, can't you know? deny it. You got yeah. it. You know? and, totally. And you're coming into that. So that has 1.39 million contracts. Uh, and then you're coming into 1.4. So you're dealing with 1.3 to 1.4 yep. million contracts. And we're at 930 right now. Right. And that's, so that's saying that we very well could get that many contracts. Sure. So what you're going to need out there is that you're going to need a uh, rejection of lower price also. And one final ticket. Oil, yep. so 53.40, you know, if you trade the 53.25s, you would have been getting back 15 to 17 dollars of value per contract. Um, and if you trade the 53s, you'd be back at about 40. So yeah, not ideal for yep. sure. A big loser in one and maybe close to break even, but still a loser in the other. Well, until natural gas tomorrow morning. It's a beautiful thing. Perfect. I like it. You stay right there, folks. The man, Mr. Basil Chapman, is going to be coming up next, growling a problem. And then, of course, we're going to go to swim lessons. We got uh, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.